do what I said? Did, did you tell her? I did. Yeah, he told her already. Anna, what'd she say? Thank you. Totally welcome. What'd she say? No, oh, that's what she said, Monica. Maybe you found your flip-flop. Why would that be in the shower drain? That's pretty insane to think about. How did a how did a flip-flop get in a shower drain? Can that fit in there? Happened to me once. I was just flipping through the channels and bam. It was like finding money. Like finding money with naked people on it. I never got it back again, and I'm sad. Oh. <laughs> and then he walks out after that. So no one touches the remote. And no one touches the TV. And no one touches the air around the tv just figure out the channel by turning on the tv guide does that not exist at this point in time the tv guide i'm pretty sure it does right and you know we we said our goodbyes this morning so he must feel horrible hey the guys have free porn <laughs> would that really cheer him up though no he thought about it though he thought about it you could get to live out my fantasy you had fantasies about emily <laughs> All right, unspoken truths. I knew you loved her. <laughs> well, then you two can, can sneak. She's thought about this for a very long time. What? And then a stewardess comes in. The camera's zooming, slowly zooming on her face. Porn. Oh my gosh. Was that really a storyline from, I don't even want to say that word. I, can I say that word on YouTube? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing like two heartbeats, I think. Three separate heartbeats. Excuse me? What did you just say to me? It's gonna be like one of those log rides when they just come shooting out. What? Giving birth to three babies is not that different than giving birth to one. What do you know? Facts though, facts though. Have you experienced that yourself, doctor? Good news, you're gonna have three babies. Ah. <laughs> three babies? I finally got my van. <laughs> That's what? It's. That's Okay, they're excited for it. That's a lot of parenting. But they're excited. I'm glad they're taking it this... I was afraid too. I can have 30 kids making baby clothes all year long. You know, okay. it'll be like my very own little sweatshop. Ugh. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. It's okay. We're, we're going to have three kids. And that's, that's a different kind of dream. Three kids and no money. That's a nightmare. You're right. It is a different kind of dream. This is the final boarding call. He doesn't want it to end. Well, that's me. Can't you go with her or something? I love you. All right. A hug. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you? Okay. Well, uh, on to the journey back home. What do I do now? You play hard to get. <laughs> She's gone. I told her you love her. It's over. It is not over. You're over. It's... What? <laughs> Monica, what was that comeback? I call her, you know, to, to see what's going on. And then it's over. Yeah, I think it's over already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big L's. <laughs> a tin can with an ordinary steak knife <laughs> oh my gosh ah. nobody does that Gross. she called she actually called i felt terrible about how i acted um, there's something that I've, I've got to tell you she doesn't love you if she called just to say that you could have there's someone else You have to go fight for her. Because you already told her you loved her and she didn't say it back. Then she called you and told you there was another guy. So yeah, go to London. That'll scare her. If the other guy's in London, isn't it just more convenient for her to be with the other guy? But I don't know. If she loves Ross more, she might want to be with him. If he goes to London to walk in on Emily sleeping with Colin... I'm gonna be so devastated. I'm telling it, I'm telling it! 
Okay, Phoebe. <laughs> Jeez. It's a relaxing taxi. You came up with relaxing cab. Well, that's not good. Oh, I guess so. Rach, maybe it's not as good. Relaxing cab. Like lowercase re and then laxy cab. Oh! Mind blown, mind blown, mind blown, mind blown, mind blown. This man flew across the world, and she did too. They they went past each other in the sky and didn't even know it. Didn't even know it. <laughs> okay, that's all I had to say. Just just wanted to pause just once because this is this is wild to me. This is really crazy. I didn't expect her. I expected her to be sleeping with that dude. That other that other guy, Colin. Wow, she actually cares for Ross. She flew back. They had the same idea. They, bro. <laughs> If you, if you meet somebody in life that will literally fly across the world for you, ring, <laughs> ring, <laughs> simple, simple, ring. That's it, that's it, that's, that's, uh, that's all I'm gonna say, ring, nothing else. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I've been to his apartment and he's not there and uh, I need to talk to him, so do you have any idea where he is? Well. Yes, Joey, you can have all the chocolate you want, just take it. Oh my God, Joey, come on, dude. <laughs> you couldn't wait? Hello? Hi. <laughs> Ross, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love how they brought that back in, man. That's some, that's some really amazing writer. Wholesome writing, wholesome. I love how they brought that back. You guys have been watching too much of that stuff. We have to turn off the porn. Uh, they're gonna turn it back on. You wanna see if we still have it? Yeah. <laughs> free value, we have free porn! You guys are hopeless. We're moving on to the next episode. We're moving on. <laughs> These guys, man. And that's unfortunately where I have to stop the recording. That episode, it was so, it was so heartwarming. Really heartwarming. I mean, it took Ross being hurt for me to realize I still love that, that guy. Like, I still love him as a character. Like, he, he got on my nerves, obviously. You guys all knew. Ross got on my last, very last nerves uh, in the previous season. But I don't know, man. This season, he's been, like, less Ross, you know? Less of that guy he was in season three. And he's, he's, he's nice, you know? He's not arguing with arguing with Rachel he's not saying that oh we, we were on a break he's not doing stupid things that people shouldn't do especially at that age with his level of intelligence but he's just a, a he's a cool guy and a part of me forgot that a part of me forgot how great of a character Ross is due to how much of a nuisance he was for quite a while. Pornography is nothing to joke about, you know. I I have known some people in my life uh, that have that have struggled with pornography addictions, you know. And so this was this was kind of a sore subject for me. Uh, but this was back in the back in the era where it was only on like television or magazines you know it wasn't it hadn't made its way into the palm of your hand yet in forms of technology so you know people probably like the addictions they had to pornography were probably <clears throat> not as serious as they are in today's time period just due to the advancement of technology throughout the past few decades but back back in the 90s you know you could Watch it on TV. You could go crazy, you know? Pa pause, pause. I don't mean it like that. But, like, what I mean is, you know, you could watch you could watch it for hours on television, you know, and be satisfied. And that was, like, the extent of, uh, you know, pornography watchers back then. <laughs> Everything's changed now. You know, people... People have gone to like things like OnlyFans, you know, people, people are like, you know, every, like every form of social media is just like, it's okay. That's another topic for another day, but 
I did like the storyline with Joy and Chandler still. I feel like even though Joey and Chandler's like storyline was in the title of the episode, I feel like the main story was kind of Ross, Emily, and Monica helping them out <laughs> low key. Cause Ross, he wouldn't have done that. He, he wouldn't have told Emily how he really felt just because we all know we know we all know the type of person ross is he hides his emotions he hides his emotions from the women that he truly wants to be with that's how he's always been and i don't know if he'll ever change you know that's just ross everybody's different you know some people are more confident to tell people without the push from others and some people need the push from others you know Everybody's got their thing. I've, I've said this so many, like countless times. Everybody's got their thing. So with that being said, I've got my thing and my thing is reactions. So I'm going to react to the next episode of Friends and I'll see you guys soon. I'm out. <laughs>